Howdy folks, this is Hulk Rex here. Just showing you off uh, my latest project that came in the mail today. Uh, this is Team Yankee. I have done these up before for a, uh, a client of mine. I've done quite a bit of work for Alex. Uh, this is a Team Yankee World War III miniatures game. It's a T-72 tank company. It contains five plastic T-72s. And this is uh, made by uh, Battlefront, same guys that do Flames of War. And uh, what you have in here is your five basic uh, T-72 main battle tanks, which uh, these guys of uh, the United States has uh, fought against these things in the Gulf War. And it was more or less we had target practice with them. They would uh, shoot our tanks and uh, their sable dart would uh, hit us and kind of just bounce off or just kind of stick in our uh, our armor they weren't doing too much to us all right inside the uh the box we have uh 10 sprues which we'll get to in a second and you have a little baggie of goodies Inside the baggie, you have some data cards, some water slide transfers. Put the bag over there. And you start off, you have um, some commander types. Basically, you can, there's six of them here. But uh, what you can do is put them up in the cupola of the vehicle, represent its commander. Usually you just put one per every five. There's they, otherwise they uh, don't really follow too many orders. And then you have your basic. Uh, come on, focus. There we go. It's your water slide transfers. Some people call them decals. All right. There's enough for uh, uh, put decals on uh, all five tanks. And then you got your uh, basic data cards. You got your T72 data card. This is the tank company card. Shows you basically how much armor they have, what their penetration, let's say, uh, up to 12.7. Yeah, 12.7. Uh, then you got how many points it costs on the back for creating company. And then the next one is your tank battalion. Same basic information on the front, but on the back it tells you what a battalion's worth five points for one HQ, then everything else as you add on to it, your formations. So if you had some BMPs, you could add to them. Let's see, what is it? BMPs. And infantry, you can make a BMP-1 motor rifle company or BMP-2 motor rifle company. Uh, you could have some uh, 2S1 Carnation SP uh, Houser batteries. They're kind of cool looking when you look at them. Just mobile artillery. Yeah, it'd be like our 109s um, artillery, the Paladins. And some ZSU 23-4 uh, anti-aircraft guns or an SA-13 Gopher SAM team surface air missile. And then you got your Red Banner Division card with its basic information and uh, the follow-up movement orders that you can give them. Yeah, it's just kind of cool stuff that you can go through. All right. So we have, um, let's do the kind of the boring one first. You got five sprues. Right here you have, on the first sprue, you have um, the hull, the tracks. Let's just see if we can get that to focus in there. There we go. You can see the tracks, the hull here. And then uh, that's part of the... Uh, um, lower hull assembly that goes back here see it right here goes right there and then you got two uh, uh, cupolas 
and then you have two fuel barrels right here you put these together and then they attach on the back of the uh, upper hull assembly so basically you take these attach them to here and then you put uh, that in here and then you can basically have the lower section you paint that separately and then you have the second section those sprues these things go together really quick so you have the upper hull right here where the turret goes and you have the uh, the turret here with the lower part of the turret and right here where the hole is is where that cupola goes in and you have a couple mine plows to the front you have some fender skirts these things in real life are just rubber and you have your 12.7 uh, millimeter heavy machine gun that goes up and connects under the cupola it's your anti-aircraft gun and you can use it for anti-infantry if you shoot their equipment you know you're not supposed to use a heavy machine gun on infantry but it makes uh well if they're carrying any type of web gear that's what we were taught when we were in tanks you're not shooting infantry you're shooting their equipment so works good and then you have the main barrel right here or no is that the log i think that's the log yeah there's the main barrel right there that on this one has the main barrel that is the standard russian log right there you can't go to war without a log because you never know you're going to get stuck and i've been stuck a few times in an m1 all right so that is your basic uh equipment and uh we're gonna have some fun putting those together It'll be a couple days will they uh, assemble all 10 of them and then I'll just make a updated uh, video as I'm going along just to give you a progress of what's going on with the uh, Team Yankee. And somewhere around here I got my rule book. It's usually within reach, but I'm not seeing it right now. But uh, it's kind of a fun game. It's kind of like playing uh, Flames of War, but it's when the Third World War it's supposed to take place in the late 80s as the Cold War uh, heats up. And uh, if you ever read the book Team Yankee, it's kind of based on that. So it's a fun thing. Now, um, I was saying I've done some stuff here. He sent me one of the upper holes. Remember I was telling you, uh, just slap them on. You don't have to glue the holes together. Like in the BMP, uh, this is the BMP-1 upper hull assembly. If I can get that to focus. Come on. Let's go. It's being cantankerous for the day. All right. So this is the uh, the upper hull, and when you put the lower assembly hull together, you don't have to glue them together. When you prime both sections, there's enough tension there that they just kind of snap fit together. And then when you want to take them apart, you just click, and they come apart no need so if you want to have a bmp1 company you just have click put them on there if you want the bmp2 company you pull this off take the other ones and put them on save yourself some money instead of having to have both you know you can have uh, have to buy both you can just buy one and then just change them out and the uh, the big difference is that the BMP-1 has the, I think it's a, this is a 76, I think, millimeter cannon. And low velocity, shoots basically HE. And then they have the little um, missile right here. They shoot off a rail rack right on the top. And then on the BMP-2, uh, I think, is it a 30 mil or 23 mil chain gun? One of the two. And uh, it's got a larger turret, big giant uh, frying pan, and it's able to get more elevation. It was kind of a adaptation when they went into Afghanistan. They needed something to handle getting up, because this thing doesn't have much elevation. So when you're fighting the mountains, you needed something to go up and down, so a little bit more. And they needed some anti-infantry. So there you go. That is a little bit of history for you. And uh, we'll be getting on to that here soon. And uh, you guys take care, and I'll, I'll talk to you later. Hell Crick's out.